हार्मोन्स इन एनिमल्स वॉट इज द सेकेंड वे ऑफ कंट्रोल एंड कोऑर्डिनेशन इन एनिमल्स इन एनिमल्स द सेकेंड वे ऑफ कंट्रोल एंड कोऑर्डिनेशन इज डन बाय एंडोक्राइन सिस्टम द एंडोक्राइन सिस्टम इज कंप्राइज ऑफ वेरियस एंडोक्राइन ग्लैंड लाइक पिच्यूटरी ग्लैंड थाइरॉयड ग्लैंड एड्रीनल ग्लैंड पैंक्रियस टेस्टिस एंड ओवरीज दीज ग्लैंड सिक्रीट सम स्पेशल केमिकल कॉम्पाउंड कॉल्ड हार्मोन्स वट आर दी फंक्शन ऑफ हार्मोन्स एंड हाउ आर दे सप्लाइड टू डिफरेंट पार्ट ऑफ आवर बॉडी हार्मोन्स हेल्प टू कंट्रोल मेनी बॉडी फंक्शन सच एज ग्रोथ रिपेयर एंड रिप्रोडक्शन हार्मोन्स आर सिक्रीटेड बाई ग्लैंड इन वेरी स्मॉल क्वान्टिटी दीज हार्मोन्स रीच डिफरेंट पार्ट ऑफ आवर बॉडी थ्रू ब्लड सर्क्युलेटरी सिस्टम वंस ए हार्मोन इज रिलीज इन टू द ब्लड स्ट्रीम इट इज सप्लाइड टू ऑल पार्ट ऑफ द बॉडी बट इट एक्ट ओनली ऑन इट्स टारगेट टिश्यू और ऑर्गन हाउ डू हार्मोन्स हेल्प अवर बॉडी इन प्रोड्यूसिंग ए रेस्पॉन्स टूवर्ड्स अ स्टिम्यूलस लेट एस अंडरस्टैंड द फंक्शनिंग ऑफ हार्मोन्स विथ एन एग्जाम्पल इफ अ पर्सन इज अटैक्ड बाई ए डॉग देन ही शुड इधर फाइट विद द डॉग और रन अवे फ्रॉम द डॉग हियर द डॉग्स अटैक इज द स्टिम्यूलस एंड मैन रनिंग और एस्केपिंग इज द रेस्पॉन्स वेन वी आर इन सच अ सिचुएशन ए हार्मोन कॉल्ड एड्रीनलिन इज सेक्रीटेड बाई एड्रीनल ग्लैंड इट हेल्प इन द फाइट और फ्लाइट सिचुएशन इन डेंजरस सिचुएशन वी हैव टू फाइट और फ्लाइट फॉर बोथ द प्रोसेसेस आवर मजल्स नीड लार्ज अमाउंट ऑफ ग्लूकोज एंड ऑक्सीजन The main function of adrenaline is to increase the supply of oxygen and glucose to our skeletal muscles. Even though adrenaline is supplied to all parts of the body, only few organs accept it and functions accordingly. Adrenaline mainly affects our eyes, blood vessels, heart and muscles. Due to the action of adrenaline, the heart beats faster and supplies more oxygen to our muscles. the blood to the digestive system and skin is reduced due to contraction of muscles around small arteries in these organs this blood is diverted to skeletal muscles adrenaline also increases the breathing rate by increasing the muscular movements of diaphragm and rib muscles this is how adrenaline helps us to produce a response during a dangerous or harmful stimuli why is it important to have iodized salt in our diet how is it connected to our endocrine system it is advised to consume iodized salt in the place of normal salt because iodine is an important mineral required for our body iodine is essential for making a hormone called thyroxin in our body this hormone is produced by thyroid gland which is present at our neck region The main function of thyroxin is to control the metabolism of carbohydrates, proteins and fats. Thyroid hormone plays a crucial role in regulating metabolism. Metabolism is the process by which our body converts food into energy and energy into food vice versa. An underactive thyroid can slow down metabolism leading to weight gain, fatigue and other symptoms. On the other hand, an overactive thyroid can speed up metabolism causing weight loss and other symptoms if we do not have sufficient iodine in our diet it may lead to low production of thyroxin and causes a disease called as goiter swollen neck is the main symptom of goiter which hormone is responsible for our growth growth hormone secreted by pituitary gland is responsible for regular growth of our body The growth of skeletal muscles and bone is under the control of growth hormone. Deficiency of growth hormone leads to a condition called dwarfism where stunted growth is observed. In some people overproduction of growth hormone leads to a condition called gigantism. In this case people grow very tall and looks unusual. Which hormone is called as male hormone and why is it called so? Testosterone 
is called as male sex hormone it is called so because it helps in the development of secondary sexual characters like growth of mustache growth of beard development of testes and production of sperms in boys which hormone is called as female sex hormone and why it is called so estrogen is called as female sex hormone it is called so because it helps in the development of secondary sexual characters in females like development of breasts beginning of menstruation development of ovaries etc why do doctors suggest some people to eat less sugar and starchy foods in their diet doctors suggest some people to eat less sugar and starchy foods because they are suffering from a disease called as diabetes our blood contains glucose the normal level of glucose in our blood is 99 mg per 100 ml of blood if our blood glucose level raises then a hormone called insulin is secreted by our pancreas insulin control the raised blood sugar levels but in some people due to the mal functioning of insulin producing cells of pancreas very less insulin is produced which leads to high level of blood sugar such condition is called as diabetes high levels of blood sugar causes harmful effects on our body diabetic people are more prone to heart kidney eye and nerve diseases thanks for watching please like the video please share this video with your friends please subscribe to great booster channel press the bell icon to get all the latest updates check the description to find links of other useful videos